Shut up and sit down. Connectors, what's up? DK here. Hope you're having a good day. It is the 7th of December, and today I want to talk a little bit about a, a word I love, actually, and it's tenacity. That idea that you have that eye of the tiger, baby. You are just relentless in the pursuit of something, whether it's putting together your organization, fundraising, pushing an initiative, getting yourself out there, that that just drive, that just, ah, oh, just want Tenacity is one of those things. It's one of those charismatic it things. You either know someone who is tenacious, you either know someone who is really into something like that, or, or, or they're just not, they just don't have it, whatever the it is. But I want to talk about tenacity in terms of drive, of getting your organization, or more importantly, getting your vision moving forward. Self-help books, self-help videos, speakers like myself and many others that go around the country crisscrossing the states and speaking at conferences and retreats to board members and leadership training seminars. We talk a lot about this idea of drive and how you have to be ruthless in your persistency and ruthless in your drive because you yourself own it. And the truth of the matter is, that's absolutely accurate. No one, zero, nobody can replicate your own drive. So you have to be the keeper of the keys for it. You are the one that literally sets the agenda when it comes to your tenacity. You can only do that yourself. You could be inspired by outside things. You could be encouraged by people who are with you. But the tenacity thing is within you and you alone. And anyone else who comes into your tribe, Anyone who comes into the fold and believes what you believe will pick up on your tenacity, but that really is yours. And believe me, I totally understand how often this is knocked over. You get so many obstacles placed in front of you. You get people telling you the idea is no good, telling you the idea needs to be worked on, not going to be supporting you because they support something different, just flat out saying no to you, doors closing, phones hanging up. You just can't get anybody to buy into your system and you feel like a little bit of that tenacity starts chipping away and chipping away. And before you know it, you have doubt setting in and that leads to just, that leads to just a, almost a full stop. But here's the thing I say to clients, colleagues, friends alike, your tenacity and your drive doesn't have anything to do with anybody else. Your idea, your proposal, your vision, they may criticize and they may take stances, either positive or negative, for or against. They may be with you or they may say, I'm not part of this. The tenacity part isn't what they're describing in terms of their decision making. They're deciding based on the idea, based on the program, based on the organization. But it's your drive that will move the conversation forward. Whether that person is with you or not, whether that funder is with you or not, whether you get exactly what you're looking for or you have to move to something different. In many videos, I talk a lot about hiring for attitude and training for skill when it comes to building a team and building up your tribe. But in this case, when it comes to tenacity, this is an internal thing for you. And my, my real main reason to put this video out today is this is the coming of the new year. This is the reset that a lot of us are doing within the organizations that we represent or ideas that we're putting forward or new initiatives we're about, in, about to launch. And this is the moment where your tenacity to move your idea forward is going to be tested because you're coming into a new year, you're coming into maybe what you've been starting, hasn't really felt like too much things are happening or maybe it's been happening at a pace that you thought would be a little quicker. And now you're coming into the holiday season where folks kind of settle in on what they are, what they're about, just to finalize the year. But new year, new attitude, ready to go. This is when your drive is important more than ever. So whether you're starting a new small business, whether you're starting a nonprofit organization, whether you're just putting yourself on a new path to leadership, a new direction, a new attitude, this is where your tenacity, I talk a lot about that internal, the tuning fork that goes off when things happen positively or negative for you. This is the moment where you are projecting that out. Your tenacity is needed more than ever. So suggestion for end of year, as we're getting ready for 2018, you're gonna start thinking about your goals for 2018, things you're gonna to wanna to do. You're gonna go back to the gym a little bit more. You're gonna change your diet. You're gonna believe you're gonna do this and all these different things. Here's the one thing I would challenge you with is I would put something down, a mantra, a belief, something that you can look at each and every day and say, my tenacity, 
My drive is mine and mine alone. And I will move that forward in every iteration that I have, in any conversation, in every interaction, and in every messaging point that I can. I'm going to be sure that everybody understands my drive and my tenacity to make things happen. 2018 will be your year. 2018 will be the year that you move the needle on your initiative, your business, your leadership, your tribe. So guys, I hope you like this video. I hope you just share this with folks that maybe are looking at 2018 and getting ready for what, what is going to be happening here in the new year. So if you can, like and subscribe to this video right here on Facebook, facebook.com slash Connect the Dots Movement. It's also up on our website, connectedotsmovement.org. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions for me, if you have a topic that you'd like me to discuss or an issue that you'd like me to go over, whether it is the nonprofit sector, social enterprise, small business, community development, you can send me an email right here, doug at connectedotsmovement.org. If you have an idea, question, topic that you want me to do also as a video, you can email me, Doug at connectedotsmovement.org, or you can send it on Twitter right here, at WeConnectDots. I take a lot of these uh, from Twitter, and I also take questions on Twitter when I do my question Q&A, which I promised I would do that. So uh, next video or the video after, before the end of year, I will do a final Q&A for 2017. Guys, I really do appreciate your time. Thank you so much. My name is DK. I'm with Connected Dots Movement, and you have just been connected. See you around. Nonprofit Power.